Just outside San Francisco, researchers here are on the leading edge of artificial intelligence, but not in the way you might imagine. Brett is the Berkeley robot for the elimination of tedious tasks. Any one of those tedious tasks, putting a square block in a square hole, something toddlers learn is what they're working on today. How about this thing here? While it may seem elementary, it's actually extraordinary. No human told it how to do this, only what it needed to accomplish. And it learned all on its own, a type of artificial intelligence called deep learning. Over time, from trial and error, it figures out in the order of about 10, 15 minutes, you would see it go from having no clue how to succeed at a task to actually becoming very consistent at succeeding at a task. Forms of AI are already all around us. In the broadest sense, it's any programming that makes technology smarter. But deep learning is more complicated. It's taking computers one step closer to thinking like humans, and in some cases, outthinking them. Now this is the South Korean world champion of a complex ancient Chinese game called Go. He lost to Google's AlphaGo computer in a victory dubbed a major win for AI. The game offers too many possibilities for a computer to win by calculating all the outcomes. Instead, this computer takes risks and essentially thinks. A monumental leap in AI. One of the brains behind it is this Toronto professor. Jeffrey Hinton, nicknamed the godfather of deep learning, has been working in the field of AI since the early 80s. My motivation for going into artificial intelligence was always to try and understand how the brain was doing it. Most people doing artificial intelligence didn't care who how the brain did it. Then you show lots of examples. You show Hinton has been working for decades with an algorithm that creates artificial neural networks. It basically mimics the way the human brain works. For years, computers weren't powerful enough to make this algorithm work. His ideas were shelved. Not anymore. Be impressed if you'd inferred from Hinton, now 64 years yeah. old, yeah. is one of the minds Google is betting on. He's been hired to work with its AI development team. So to make things that can translate between languages and understand all the nuances and things and translate as well as a person does, um, maybe better. Uh, things that can read medical images better than a person can. Stuff like that. I want to talk to you about the greatest scientific event in the history of man. Are you building an AI? On the big screen, intelligent robots are companions, personal assistants, even enemies. And even in the real world, technology is moving faster than people could have imagined. If you could put deep learning techniques into a robot, then you have a, a, a very fast way for a robot to teach itself to learn about its environment and how to manipulate its environment. So, um, you know, deep learning is, is really in its foundation days. Uh, as a technique, but it's, but it's advancing really rapidly. Google is investing hundreds of millions of dollars to be the first one there. And it's not alone. IBM, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, all believe whoever masters AI will be the global tech giant of the future. AI is it's really transformational in this century. It's going to change all our industry. It's going to change all our business. And uh, we have to be careful about how we develop it or it will, um, it will change us too much. It might even wipe us out. But for some, at a recent tech convention, it's all excitement. This humanoid robot has celebrity status. Can I have a fist bump? Can I have a fist bump? Fist bump. Can I have a fist bump? Fist bump. But it's clear. Interacting with this cutting edge robot is still not smooth. Pepper the robot, built to be a personal butler, is not close to wiping out oh, anything yet. <laughs> if anything, what we need to do as a company is really manage expectations around the reality of the tech. So we have a lot of pop culture to, to reference when it comes to robotics. C-3PO is one that always jumps to mind. Robots aren't C-3PO yet. Experts say artificial intelligence, when it fully works, will lead to something they call singularity. That is the moment in time when AI becomes more powerful than human intelligence.